I have to say, I think this whole Dylan Dennis um, constant trolling of Logan Paul's fiance and the reactions to it online have really kind of illuminated me in terms of my um, understanding of what other men sort of like think is um, what other men expect in women in general, right? And their ideas of relationships and sex and all that malarkey and company. It's really, really, it's interesting just to kind of analyze because I feel like I'm not really on that kind of wave, maybe because I'm a bit of a weirdo, who knows? But it's very different to how people feel. So people are looking at this video that um, Dylan Dennis uploaded, right? And they are very, very shocked at what she had to say. And I guess some of them are of the thinking that Logan should call off the engagement, cancel the wedding, because his wife to be said this a very long time ago. By the way, I'm very proud of myself. This is the longest I've ever gone without sex since I started. Obviously, it's driving me crazy. I am struggling. I mean penis inside of me. ASAP. Like all I want is like a big fat sausage just destroying my body. So Don't get me wrong. I get what was it? So if any of you oh, guys no, know so a good dick go. that doesn't have STDs on it, I'll take it. Right here. By the way, I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Her saying I'll take it right here in the hand made me legitimately laugh. Like, I'll take it right here. <laughs> that made me laugh. Anyway, um, first of all, I don't really understand the outrage on my life. I don't understand the outrage. Like, I don't really understand because I think maybe because I'm being too, I don't know. I'm being too like common sense with it. Maybe I should just be thinking about it more so in like, oh, my God, you know, I want 100 virgins type away. But what do people actually expect? like legit like what did they expect like she's from what i've been reading online she's a legit supermodel maybe she's not anymore but she was a legit victoria's secret supermodel at one point in modeling outside of like runway models because runway modeling has turned into a whole nother thing now it's not really what it was in terms of having like the most you know freakishly good looking super tall women on the runway it's now become a whole different thing it's not really about that conventional beauty sort of thing but back in the day when conventional beauty was kind of the thing right she was one of those Victoria's Secret models and Victoria's Secret models for the most part are usually just you know what most men would say they're into tall skinny white women for the most part who are like brunette or blonde and usually those women are like you know the top 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 of the top in terms of like looks wise in that kind of field so you'd imagine most white dudes would be into a girl that looks like that or most guys in general I'm not supposed to say white dudes most guys in general would be into a girl that looks like that cool if that's the case what do you expect for that girl like that to like what do you expect from her then do you expect her to be a virgin do you expect a victoria's secret supermodel that looks the way that she does and that most guys are into clearly because of the pictures that dylan Dallas is uploading she's not struggling for men either right men clearly like her she clearly likes men what do you expect is going to happen in that case do you expect her to be like a virgin until the day logan meets her i'm really confused it really is perplexing to find out and also like the whole like bodies thing is an interesting topic to get into because what's the magic number of bodies that makes it acceptable like what are guys expecting like if you meet a woman in her late 20s because uh, i think this girl might be 29 30 or maybe younger if you meet a woman between the age of 20 i don't know 25 and 35 how many bodies is a good amount for you to say yeah I'm happy to make this person my wife and, and have, you know, be the mother of my children. What's going to be an acceptable amount for you? Is it five? Is it 10? Is it less than five? Is it like, what's the actual number? It doesn't make any sense. And also like, like how about if she's one of those people who like only lost her virginity really late? Like imagine if you left, lost your virginity um at like 19. No, 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 no. Like, look, let's say later, let's say that like 25, right? And then you had like a string of like, you know, back to back bodies, quote unquote, right? You was a bit of a city girl. And then you meet somebody who you want to settle down with just because she had a, a, a stretch of five years where she maybe have 10 bodies. Does that make her worse than somebody that has 10 split over 10 years or longer? Like what's the actual, it, it's all really bizarre. And to me, yeah, I just think it's extremely, um, 
I don't know what's that word called it just feels it just feels like some guys out there aren't living in reality personally because you could be really mean and say look most dudes aren't gonna have access to this woman anyway right because she hangs around in certain circles she's of a certain caliber so most dudes who are like opining on this sort of topic and ranting and raving about it and telling Logan what he should do would never ever have the chance to ever fucking come within their orbit right let alone fuck her instead so the idea that they all kind of have so much to say about it is fucking laughable because i'm so most guys like we all right don't have the you know the most uh <laughs> the most red carpet worthy um hit list ourselves right <laughs> it's all a bit patchy so i think just like observe the drama laugh at it if you want to it's funny to kind of laugh at because dylan dennis is clearly a top level troll but i don't really think this is that big of an issue i honestly don't like unless maybe logan had no idea that she was she had ex-boyfriends and it all came out like this cool but i think he does normal people i don't know talk about that sort of stuff um he's got the internet he could google her name it's not that big of a deal i don't really see why people are freaking out about it it's really odd like people are taking it like it's really people especially some guys online they're taking it within themselves to kind of be like you know reminding logan online <laughs> that he's about to marry a slag or something making sure that he makes the right decision it's just it's just weird like i just don't get it personally and like i said i just don't understand what people expect do people expect to meet a conventionally attractive woman in her late 20s and expect that she's going to be a virgin is that what people actually expect because that's the truth then i i really feel sorry for some guys out there because you're going to be in for a big surprise and even if they tell you they're a virgin how can you prove that or if they tell you that she's got less than five bodies how would you know that's true no one is going to be telling you the truth really unless you're their partner partner and you've got a certain level of trust no one really owes you to t no one really you're not really entitled to that kind of information like no one really owes that to you in the slightest if they give it up fair enough and they let you know hey here's the amount of bodies that have blah, 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 cool but i think unless you're religious i don't see why you're bothered about this i don't get it unless you're religious and it's a part of your religion where you need to where you know in order to marry the person has to be a virgin whatever it may be fair enough that's in the whole of a conversation but if you're a regular schmegular circular person out there who hasn't prayed since you were in fucking catholic school right <laughs> who couldn't fucking you know locate genesis in the bible if you're if your life depended on it why are you bothering why do you care about this please why do you care i i don't know for me the most funny part about this whole thing is the fact that you know logan paul's getting engaged to this woman gave her allegedly a, an engagement ring that's like half a million but he still has refused to pay those guys back for the crypto zoo thing that for me is the funniest bit of this whole thing like he just refuses to pay and now there's this whole another theory out there that there's these lawsuits pending blah blah who knows but that to me is the most laugh of that that to me makes me laugh like you owe people money and then you're gonna plan this because you know logan paul's wedding is not gonna be some like you know Logan Paul's wedding is not going to be some basic bitch wedding. It's going to be fucking a big deal. He, he might even parachute down to the fucking, um, to the aisle. You know what I mean, he might have fucking little baby and future performing. You know, like it's going to be fucking crazy. So he's going to spend a lot of money on his wedding. <laughs> but he's just refused to pay these guys from CryptoZoo. I think something like 1.5 mil. And he might have a car service that's going to take all of his guests from like the villa where they're staying at or the complex to the wedding he might have a car service that's more that costs more than what he owes the crypto zoo people legitimately he might have more that's what he's refusing to pay that to me is a bigger story than whether or not his girlfriend is a slag because she had a sex life before she met logan <laughs> it's like you niggas out there are fucking delusional if you honestly think you're gonna find a scandinavian blonde <laughs> <laughs> who by all accounts is like a nice person from what i've seen online um there's clips of her on like ridiculousness and she's super funny she's clearly got a sense of humor clearly a kind of girl that most guys will be into because she's fucking funny she looks the way that she does and you honestly think she's gonna be a virgin <laughs> oh the naivety and the fucking i don't know the guys out there that think like that honestly manosphere dudes i think are like legends when it comes to their view on relationships and women and shit it's bizarre i love the ones especially the ones my favorite ones are the ones who think if they just get money they can fuck anybody those are the ones i love the most because they actually legitimately think there's women all women out there are only motivated by like money and shit 
<laughs> and they get and then they have a you know surprise of their life when they bump into a lady who doesn't give a fuck about money and just thinks you're ugly or doesn't think you're cool or something and says nah and their whole world shatters around them it's like bro you can't just get money like you can't just do drop shipping and forex and like fucking i don't know um sell fucking instagram story ads and think you're gonna be able to fucking smash i don't know iggy azalea like sometimes you know so we're just out of your range it just is what it is <laughs> you just have to play within your batting field you know what i mean that's all it is basically